welcome to my channel. It's me, Persephone Astrology. Like and subscribe as you come in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about manifestation, magneticism, law of attraction, attracting your desires into your life. So these are my top three secrets when it comes to this area, okay? There's this book called The Secret that a lot of people know is all about the law of attraction, but there's so much more to it. So I'm gonna share my top three secrets with you today to help you on your way to manifestation success. Okay, so number one, if you are a magnetic person, naturally, you need to learn to control your magneticism, okay? Because being able to attract positive things to us is the exact same energy as being able to attract negative things to us, okay? You can find out if you are a magnetic person by checking your astrology birth chart. Okay, if you have a strong Venus energy, then you will be very, very magnetic. If you have lots of um, Taurus energy, lots of Libra energy, lots of second house energy or seventh house energy, or a strong Venus placement, then you will be naturally a very, very magnetic person, okay? And depending on the experiences you've had in life, if you've had a difficult life and you've had traumatic experiences, you may find that you keep on attracting traumatic experiences to yourself over and over and over again. I see it all the time, okay? People who are very successful, when they put their mind to it, um, also attract a lot of drama and catastrophe sometimes. And this is just through sheer magneticism, okay? So it's not just, um, manifestation is not just being able to manifest your dreams and desires. If you don't get a handle on it and you don't become conscious of it, then you will attract loads of possibly negative things to yourself as well, depending on where your internal energy is, okay? Um, because we are always manifesting. We are always doing spells, incantations with the words we speak, the thoughts we have, the actions that we take are all a spell to determine our 3D reality. Whether you're aware of it or not, um, that's what's happening, okay? So you're always manifesting. So especially if you're a negative thinker, without realizing it, you could be attracting lots of negative things into your life. So you need to be keeping a hold on controlling your thoughts, controlling your energy output, and putting effort into maintaining this every single day. It's not easy, okay? Um, so number two, is that magnets do not only attract, they also repel, okay? Magnets repel as well. So determined by the energy that you're putting out, you could be repelling the things that you're, tr the very things that you're trying to draw to you, okay? So if you are approaching it with the wrong energy, if you are, um, rather than inviting the life that you desire, rather than inviting the things that you want into your life, you are approaching it with a very aggressive energy. That's not a receiving energy. So you won't be receiving from that energy. So for instance, if you want your friend to come round and be in your house, you do not go to their house and bang the door down. I want you to come round, I want you to come round, please come round, like being desperate and scaring them away. No, you don't do that. You just merely invite them and then they come. That's it, it's as simple as that. And you do not need to put extra aggression into it. You do not need to put extra desperation into it. You need to, if it's your best friend, you know that they're gonna come round. So you just ask them, do you wanna come round? you know they're gonna say yes if they're not busy. 
that's it okay it's literally as simple as inviting the energy that you would like into your life rather than um begging it to be in your life you know please 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 let this and that happen to me that kind of approach to praying manifesting spell work it doesn't work you need to actually just invite the energy seduce the energy into your life okay um and also while we're on the topic of magnets repel as well as attract you need to learn how to repel the things that you don't want this is another side of your magneticism is being able to repel the things you don't want okay so if people keep disrespecting you for instance and you just keep letting them the universe thinks you're letting them into your house so you want them to come round if you close the door in their face every time someone comes knocking, disrespecting you, the universe will stop sending them because you will have learned that lesson, okay? That's an example. So it's also about repelling as protection. Get this protection around yourself to repel negative things from coming your way, okay? So you're just conscious and you're putting out the energy of what you want and what you don't want, your likes and dislikes because you have a choice in that you're the creator, you're part of this. And manifesting is simply acknowledging it. You don't have to become anything different to what you are. You don't have to become anything extra special. You just have to acknowledge what you are, which is the creator, okay? Women naturally have this energy. That's why it's very ruled by Libra and Taurus um, and Venus because it's a very feminine energy okay the art of receiving is naturally feminine so naturally women are witches and women uh, are more let's say more naturals at being able to attract things to you at being able to receive things that's not the only uh, reason why but that's one of the reasons okay so also um anyone who is being oppressed in their life this is why women are super good manifestors because oppression actually increases your ability to manifest even if it's in a negative way until you're conscious of it oppression of your people um increases your your manifestation okay so a lot of um spirituality uh, witchcraft um things like that were born from living in a system of oppression so therefore you need you're forced to take your natural power okay you're forced to get into your natural power because you're being disempowered by everything around you okay that's what it is it's empowering yourself okay so actually going through problems in your life going through oppression having a hard life doesn't make it harder for you it's commonly thought that it does make it harder for you and you do have to make a lot of adjustments and changes in your thought processes but it actually it makes you more powerful the more you have struggled the more powerful you will be when it comes to manifesting okay because you feel this you feel this inside you this disempowerment okay so when you use this energy to take back your power you you find a real sur a surge of power bubbling through you and your energy is like very i don't know what the word is um but yeah you know what i'm talking about um so yes repelling is also a protecting so make sure you're repelling and you're um attracting as well uh, you are the magnet okay so you do both and the third top secret that I have for you is that like attracts like, okay? So when you're inviting, when you're opening up your channels, when you're inhabiting the energy that you want to be in, you need to be raising your vibration as much as possible, okay? Because as I said, you're always manifesting. So 
The more you raise your own self, everything is internal. The more your environment will improve, the more the people around you will treat you with respect and kindness. Um, because everything is internal, right? So everyone who is presented to us in our life is a mirror to show us our own self-worth, to teach us a lesson, okay? So it's all about building your self-esteem and building your self-worth. This is another reason why this practice is so necessary for women, okay? You need to build your inner self up to be able to receive the gifts from the freedom realm, okay? Because everything that you experience is a mirror of you. Some people find this one especially hard to accept and especially triggering because any negative thing that happens in your life is your responsibility. Now that can be really, really hard for people to um, accept. But when you're at that level where you can see this and you see the reaction, so for instance, if someone is disrespecting you or treating you badly in your life, how are you disrespecting yourself? How are you treating yourself badly? You need to be giving yourself more, okay? And you need to watch, uh, I'm just about to record another video about reparenting yourself, remothering yourself and giving yourself that nurturance because that will boost your manifestations and make you more powerful, okay? Because... Number one, you're obviously disrespecting yourself if you're allowing someone to disrespect you, full stop. Um, and in other ways, that's the energy that you're putting out. So you're letting them know that that's okay, okay? You need to be respecting yourself like as a goddess, as a creator. And then the universe will allow you to step up and actually become the creator and actually manifest your reality, okay? So these three tips are really, really, really important. If you're stuck on your manifestations, if you can't seem to get there, um, you know, if your spells aren't working, whatever, look at these three things because they're really, really important because you could just be repeating the same old patterns over and over and over again and never progressing and never learning from them. That's not magic, okay? And also, um, just acquiring material things is not magic either. You may think that you want all of these material things. Um, and I'm not one of these spiritual people who deny having material things and deny living in abundance and living in luxury as is your birthright. But it's not actually these things that you want. These things are all superficial. What you really want is the feeling that they give you. So, you know, if you say you want to be um, rich, you don't want that piece of paper, your wallet full of these pieces of paper. You, that's not what you really want. What you really want is the freedom that it gives you. You can be yourself. You can enjoy every day. You don't have to slog away working really hard. You know, what you really want to inhabit is that feeling of freedom, luxury, enjoying yourself, being able to give, okay? The energy of giving generously, that really helps you to pull in uh, more abundance for yourself, things like that, okay? Because really the goal is not to have this materialistically perfect life. Although when you reach that state, it does kind of come to you because your self-worth raises and then um, your net worth raises. But um, the goal is actually just for you to be secure, for you to be happy, for you to be fulfilled in your life um, and to know that these things don't come from materialistic means, um, they come from somewhere a lot deeper, okay? So that's what we're trying to get to. Stay tuned because I'm going to be recording a video soon about uh, reparenting yourself, nurturing yourself, mothering yourself and fathering yourself, which falls very much in line with everything I've been talking about today.
raising your self-worth, raising your self-esteem, healing yourself so that you're at the point where you can manifest the things that you want to you. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. My website is below. I do custom affirmations. I do readings, tarot, astrology, anything you could want. It's all there. So make sure you subscribe and thank you so much for watching.